Netherrealm Studios has a ton of content planned for Mortal Kombat 1 well into the future, and thanks to this most recent patch, we are starting to see that content trickle in. In the latest patch notes, not only do we have some big bug fixes, character balancing, the knight variant to the Wuxi Academy stage being added, and finally being able to pin moves to the HUD along with various other updates, perhaps the biggest surprise as far as new content is concerned relates to the new Halloween Fatality and the Cage's Mansion stage Halloween Makeover being introduced to the game. This was unearthed a month ago in the data mine, and now we are finally starting to see some of these things represented from these leaks make their way into Mortal Kombat 1. The game has only been out for just over a month, but we're talking new modes, more fatalities, and more fighters that will be coming to the game days, weeks, months, and years down the road. In fact, later this week, we will be seeing even more parts of the Halloween update roll out, which we will be discussing in this video. Because of all the content we're getting for the game, let's do a detailed overview of all the content we are expecting for Mortal Kombat 1, starting with the near-term content before getting into the content we expect will debut many months from now. Because we are talking about entire new game modes, fighters, and the like, Netherrealm Studios has not confirmed much of this is happening. Rather, this information has been compiled from the numerous data mines that have happened for Mortal Kombat 1. Because of that, here's your courtesy spoiler warning before we go ahead with all the information, as even though Netherrealm Studios has not explicitly told us about some of this content that will release, the content found here within these data mines come from within the game's files themselves, so we have a very good understanding of what these new features are going to be. A huge shout out to Twitter users The Thinny and Interloco for mining and reporting the game's files so that we have a better picture of what to expect as Mortal Kombat 1 evolves. A detailed video of all the fighters coming after the Combat Pack 1 will be highlighted in the next video, so make sure to stick around for that one coming up real soon. We are just a few days away from the next huge piece of content revealed for Mortal Kombat 1, and it comes in the form of a brand new Halloween themed event that will be taking over Invasions mode. We just got the first part of the event now, with the Halloween retheme of the Cage's Mansion stage available in the patch, and the Halloween fatality we've seen in the data mine will be making its way over to the premium shop super scummy move that we're gonna have to be paying for this fatality, and even though the patch notes state that the fatality has been added to the premium shop, we don't yet know the price of this finisher, nor do we have any clear indication when we will be able to buy it. Well, thanks to Twitter user Bloodrain, we have an idea and a response from WB stating that we are likely to see this fatality in the premium shop this coming Friday, the 27th of October. This is alluding to more updates we are likely to see in a matter of days, starting with the massive new Invasions mode Halloween update. With this upcoming update, we are getting a rethemed Mesa to run through, new skins and gear, and, of course, a brand new seasonal fatality that we will unfortunately have to buy at the premium shop. No word on whether completing the Halloween Mesa once it launches would award us the fatality at this point. So, what is this Halloween update, you ask? Well, we know there's the Cage's Mansion stage that has its Halloween retheme, of which can be selected from the stage select screen and is likely to stay there permanently, since you can still access the day and night variations of the standard stage. We also have the Halloween Fatality coming to the Premium Shop, and biggest of all, we are going to be getting a retheme of the Cage's Mansion Invasions Mode Mesa, and this map will be decked out with Halloween decorations, featuring a miniature story narrated by Johnny Cage as we traverse his mansion, all while encountering brand new fights, a mini boss, and a major boss to tackle. Have a listen to just a snippet of Johnny Cage's narration in this soon to come update, provided by Interloco. Call it Johnny's Cage of Horrors, a haunted mansion experience. <laughs> if you'd like to listen to all of Cage's lines, I have Interloco's video linked in the description for you to view. We talked about fights and some bosses, so here on your screen are all the files relating to the events that are going to be taking place in this Halloween update. The one highlighted here relates to the major boss of the event, which will be Johnny Cage. This isn't likely to be just the movie star himself, but as revealed in the dialogue that he has in Interloco's video, it is likely this boss will be a robotic Johnny Cage. We also have the mini-boss being Melina, 
15 standard fights, 7 ambush fights, 1 endurance fight, and 1 test your might event. Don't forget about that new fatality, since this fatality may just be one of many seasonal fatalities that are yet to debut, seeing as the file for the game mode, Event Missions, was unearthed in the game's files, hinting that these event missions may be seasonal content offered in between each invasion season. We have reason to believe that this upcoming Halloween event may take place before or after Halloween, which coincides with the final days of Season 1, and will end just as Season 2 begins. Twitter user and data miner The Thinny suggests that there may be a week of downtime between seasons, and that this Halloween update could take place as part of the event missions file, before Season 2 begins. Season 2 will be featuring the Blood Element, with Nitara starring that season, and we already have the audio files of Season 2, courtesy of Interloco, of which you can watch all the scenes from his video linked in the description. It is in this video from Interloco that we can see that Sub-Zero will be the star of Season 3, beginning at the tail end of the year as it ushers in winter, at least for those residing in the Northern Hemisphere. Seeing as the Halloween event will kick off before Season 2, which is appropriately blood-themed, having an ice-themed Season 3 with Sub-Zero coincides with the holiday season of early winter, potentially hinting at what we may see for the second seasonal event in Event Missions. Before we leave the Invasions Mode updates altogether, we do have confirmation that the Pyramid Mesa was unearthed in the game's files, along with its music. This on your screen is a rendering of the Pyramid Mesa Twitter user Interloco unearthed from the data mine. The Titan battles are also slated to be coming very soon, which will be featured in Invasions Mode and could likely fall within the Event Missions file and could be placed in the Pyramid Mesa. All of this stuff that we just went over in the Invasions mode is likely to be coming real soon to the game, so stay tuned for more updates pertaining to Invasions mode. Alright, enough with Invasions mode details for now, so let's get to the new modes that were found within the game's files that will likely be coming in future updates. Found within the files pertaining to announcer calls and the career profile, we have the following modes that will likely debut in future updates. Test your luck, test your sight, Test Your Strike, Scavenger Hunt, and Mercy. Test Your Luck, Sight, and Strike were all found together in Mortal Kombat 9 when it released in 2011, but it looks like these game modes will indeed be making their way into Mortal Kombat 1, likely in the form of Invasions Mode games at some point in the future. Perhaps with each new Invasion season? We don't have any firm understanding of what the Scavenger Hunts are, but here we have the file that showcases this activity. Along with the Titan battles that are arriving very soon, we have Mercy, a mechanic introduced in 1995's Mortal Kombat 3 that was most recently implemented in MK11. For some reason, the Mercy was a requirement in one of the daily quests in Mortal Kombat 1 not too long ago, hinting at a feature that didn't make it to the launch of the game. With Mercy being located within the game's files, it is very likely we will see this feature introduced to Mortal Kombat 1. Although all the aforementioned modes are located within the game's files, there is no word on when any of these modes will be introduced to the game. Seeing as Mortal Kombat 1 will undergo its biggest updates when seasons both end and begin in Invasion Mode, it is likely we will hear more and more of these modes and their introduction to the game during these times. One more mode that is within the game's files is the Tag Mode. One of the more loved modes from Mortal Kombat over the years is Tag Mode, a mode that gained much popularity in Mortal Kombat 9, and interestingly, we haven't seen it since. Thanks to Ermacker on Twitter and YouTube, we have evidence of a mostly functional Tag Mode, in which players can swap to another character at the press of a button mid-match. Ermacker does an excellent job outlining some of the kinks of the mode when he got it working on the PC version, but a considerable amount of it works as it should. While Ermacker believes that there is no evidence that the tag mode will be added in the future, he adds that it is likely. Tag mode would make for an incredible addition to Mortal Kombat 1 in diversifying its modes, don't you think? Let's hope we see and hear more of this mode at some point in the future. The full video from Ermacker is provided in the description. In addition to all the modes we went over, we have the announcer voices that are currently in the game, thanks to the data mine. In addition to the default announcer, we have Garrus, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, Shang Tsung, Sindel, Sub-Zero, and Omni-Man. 
The announcer for Shang Tsung has been found in the premium shop for a few weeks, and it is possible that the announcer for Sindel and Sub-Zero may make their way into the shop as well. With Omni-Man being the first character to debut as part of the Combat Pack 1, he will have his own announcer voice. Omni-Man will be making his way to Mortal Kombat 1 in November, as announced in his trailer last week. But did you know that there are tons more characters coming to the game outside of the Combat Pack roster? We have an entire Mortal Kombat 1 story expansion coming, introducing tons of new fighters to the roster. Be sure to stick around for the next video, as we will be exploring the data mines to take a look at every single fighter confirmed to be coming to Mortal Kombat 1 after the Combat Pack with a good look at the story expansion DLC. There's a lot in there, so you're not going to want to miss it, but in case you don't want to wait to learn more about the release dates of all the fighters coming in the Combat Pack, check this video out detailing the release dates of the upcoming Combat Pack roster and a brand new character coming to Mortal Kombat 1. Thank you all for your continued support, and I look forward to seeing you real soon in the next one.